time for me to review this. The Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 lens. So this lens is a 24 millimeter uh, full frame equivalent lens uh, at f 1.4. Um, this allows for a pretty wide field of view um, with relatively shallow depth of field. This lens is probably one of the best lenses for the Sony APS-C system. Uh, I use this lens uh, with my Sony a6300 uh, along with the Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens which I also reviewed. If you're interested in that the link will be in the description. Um, but both of these lenses uh, are optically amazing lenses. Um, I think this lens is just as sharp if not sharper than the 30 millimeter f1.4 lens. Yeah, this lens is optically excellent. But before I give all of my thoughts on the lens, uh, which are mostly positive, I'm gonna touch on um, some of the, I guess, somewhat negatives of this lens, even though, in my opinion, there aren't really many. This is real. What is real? Um, the one main negative, well, I guess there are two that, you know, kind of go together in one is kind of just the size and shape and weight of the lens. Honestly, it's to the point where it's getting a little bit awkward on my a6300. It's okay. It balances okay. But like the shape of it is very strange how it just gets much larger, um, and it's definitely not a light lens. It's significantly heavier than the uh, Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 lens. Uh, and I also shoot on micro four thirds a lot. And that lens is like way heavier than a lot of the other lenses that I use. Now, mind you, it's not ridiculously heavy. It's not like uh, as heavy as like a Sigma full frame like Canon mount art lens. So, you know, that's why I said it's not really like a real complaint, uh, but it's just comparatively to other lenses and mirrorless systems, especially APS-C, you know, a lot of the lenses get pretty small and this is not a small lens. Uh, it's not necessarily a light lens, but again, that's relative. Uh, it really isn't much of a bother to carry around. Uh, so, I, it's not really a factor for me, but if you wanted, you know, a smaller lens at this focal length, you know, Sony makes the pancake version. Uh, I used to have that lens. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's worse. It's just, <laughs> it's just worse. This lens is way better. One of the other limitations is that, you know, if you have a non-stabilized body, like if you get this for a 5100, which I know is a really popular camera, or an a6000 or a6300, um, you know, this lens handheld for video can get a little bit shaky. Um, so you want to use some type of stabilization or at least very stable technique. Uh, versus if you have a stabilized sensor, then that lens becomes even more versatile. But I would use this lens all the time on a gimbal uh, and it performed really well. So, you know, if you have uh, one of those cameras that, like me, uh, <laughs> an A6300 or some other camera that doesn't have a stabilized sensor, you know, you just need to be mindful of that. But I mean, uh, 1.4 prime uh, at that size isn't gonna have like optical stabilization. And it really doesn't. I think a lot of cameras going forward in the future are gonna use sensor stabilization. So I don't think it not being stabilized is a big deal or something that should even be expected in a lens like this. Um, 
I really like uh, this lens because it's really versatile. Uh, it's a wide focal length, so you can use it for, you know, group shot or environmental portraits. And sometimes you can get some really interesting perspectives shooting people with these types of lenses. You know, you just move in closer and it really feels like you're closer to the person versus using the lenses that you would traditionally use for portraits. So, you know, I really don't think it's limiting in any way because that uh, f1.4 aperture lets you uh, separate from the background if you move in close anyway. So it's one of those lenses uh, that I think is really versatile and you could really consider using it as a walk around lens or if you want something a little bit tighter, the other Sigma art lens. Or are they contemporary lenses? I think they're contemporary, it's something different. I don't know how they name their lenses anymore. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've used this lens for both photo and video, uh, and the performance is really good in both. Like I said earlier, the optical quality is great. Uh, the autofocus performance is good. It's actually better than the other Sigma lens, the 30 millimeter. I found that the autofocus on that one was really good, but every once in a while it would like mess up or like hunt or like do something weird. This lens, like is almost perfect. I don't want to say that it's perfect because I'm sure there's some time where it's missed or like done something weird, but it definitely, it, like I don't notice any like autofocus errors with this lens versus the other one, uh, the 30 mil. I, I would notice some stuff sometimes. So I think that's an improvement by Sigma. And I think maybe, you know, that's a good sign uh, for Sigma lenses on Sony APS-C going forward. Like they seem to really be like at least trying to make better and better lenses for the system, which is good because, you know, Sony is not really doing that. I mean, maybe they will sometime soon, but they're more focused on, you know, putting out full frame lenses. People are fighting outside and I can see <laughs> I'm just trying to shoot a video, y'all. I'm just trying to shoot a video. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've had this lens for a really long time. You know, I had it like pretty much right when it came out and I've been using it like ever since. Uh, and I really like this lens, you know, it really impressed me. I had high hopes for it and it really met those expectations. You know, it, it's a great lens for what it is, you know, uh, especially if you have a 6500, which is a stabilized body, it's even better. But yeah, so overall, I think the lens is great. It's an awesome tool, you know, and you can use it and really create some awesome stuff. Uh, let me know what you think of this lens in the comments below. You know, if you're interested in getting it, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, if you own the lens, feel free to chime in with some of your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, check out my Instagram if you like some of the, you know, photos and videos that were in this. And, you know, check out some of my stuff. I think it's pretty good. You know, follow me, you know, <laughs> links in the description, all of that. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video uh, and I'll see you guys.